What's that dial, Mary Tyler Mort? Watching him's exhausting. <laughs> but we love every minute. Love me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for Jim Carrey's top 10 most hilarious moments. <laughs> Number 10. Riddle us this, Jim. Somebody tell the fat lady! She was on in five. Batman Forever's casting director had it pretty easy when it came to this flick. Woo! Jim Carrey was the only man to play Edward E. Nigma, better known as the Riddler. Riddle me this, riddle me that. The role requires an actor to be energetic, over the top, and all over the place. And Carrey was more than happy to oblige. <laughs> When he meets up with his new ally, Two-Face, that's when the games truly begin. A-14. Number 9. Jim's Side-Split Personality. Carrie assumes a Two-Faced role himself in Me, Myself, and Irene. Charlie Bailey Gates is a doormat who's abused by everyone who crosses his path. That causes him to go nutburgers and develop split personalities one of whom is a total psycho badass. The on-a-dime transformation between his two selves is something to behold, but when Carrie comes to blows with himself, that's when the real magic happens. Ever been bitch lad? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna kill you, I can swear to God! Oh, Arriva Dirty Deadwood. No! Number eight, here Jim comes to save the day. <laughs> Playing him with humanity, humor, and a knowing smile, Carrie completely vanishes into the role of eccentric and misunderstood comic genius Andy Kaufman. I will have this boy line with the one with the big skull. To play Kaufman doesn't require only an impersonation of him. Carrie also masters his alter egos. Welcome to the Falling Free Jam! And stable of impressions including his famed Elvis. <laughs> After watching Man on the Moon, you may not understand Kaufman any better, but you do know more about Jim Carrey's incredible range. Number seven, Jim has a Titanic-sized freakout. Why did you throw the blue heart of the ocean jewel over the railing of the Titanic? In Bruce Almighty, Carrey plays Bruce Nolan, one of those reporters that always gets the puff pieces, or puff pastry pieces. Like Carrie himself, Bruce struggles to be taken seriously, so when he's passed over for the anchor job in favor of his rival, well, he doesn't take it so well. Is the bedrock of my life eroding beneath me? Eroding, eroding, eroding. Unfortunately, he's on live TV at the time. That poor old lady doesn't know what hit her. Or were you just too afraid to freeze your big fat ass off? Number six, Jim So Sketchy. <laughs> Before prospering on the big screen, Carrie was the token white guy on the Wayans Family sketch series in Living Color. I guess I'm just a splash in the pan. True to form, he stole the show with his physical comedy, rubberized facial expressions, and valuable life lessons. I'm Fire Marshal Bill Burns, and nobody likes a quitter. Once he'd become a huge movie star, Carey returned to his sketch comedy roots with a memorable Saturday Night Live hosting gig that gave birth to one head-bobbingly unforgettable sketch. Number five, Jim's Death Mask. He sings, he dances, he makes excellent balloon animals. We have a giraffe. He's the mask. If you're a Jim Carrey fan, this movie is right up your alley because it's everything you love about him kicked up about a thousand notches. Tell Tony Jim I won't be coming home this Christmas. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> he bounces from suicidal to sing-songy in a matter of minutes. And while his dance number with Cameron Diaz is smoking, it's his faux death scene that's really ready for the Academy. You love me! You really love me! <laughs> number four, the truth will set Jim free. Did we 
was me! Coming at a time when Carrie was honing his frenzied comic energy, Liar Liar gives us the best of both Carrie worlds, manic and restrained. I've had better. After his son wastes his birthday wish requesting his father be barred from fibbing, Carrie is stuck in truth-telling mode, which, as a lawyer, isn't great. Here goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. So he tries to weasel out of it, mind over matter style. The color of this pen is... <laughs> it don't work. The pen is blue. The pen is blue! Number three, Jim goes medieval on his ass. Here's how you do a dark psychological thriller the Jim Carrey circa mid-90s way. My eyes! The eponymous cable guy is lonely and well-meaning, but a little unhinged. I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Just unhinged enough to require the comic stylings of a guy like Carey. Oh, yeah. When he's not trying to make friends, singing karaoke, or flashing prisoners. Oh, Billy. The cable guy is letting off steam the only other way he knows how, by sword fighting. <laughs> Number two, Jim plays dumb. It takes a genius to play an idiot. You're it. With his bowl cut, chip tooth, and buddy at his side, Lloyd Christmas sets off to follow his dream woman across the country. I've never felt this way about anybody. Sandwiched between the hot tub parties, motorcycle rides, and getting ready montages is one killer road trip. And by killer, we mean they pick up a hitchhiker who's trying to murder them. But they'll be fine. They can always annoy him to death. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Number one, play it again, Jim. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. If you thought Jim Carrey was everywhere in the mid-90s, you're right. He said it's incredible! He had no less than three huge movies out in 1994 alone, but only one is a decisive touchdown. Ace Ventura Pet Detective introduced Carrey's hyperactivity and elastic face to a wider movie audience and gave us all the Jim Carreyisms we know and love. The who? Yeah. It also proved that Rubberface knows comedy both frontwards and backwards. Let's see that in an instant replay. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is Jim Carrey's funniest moment? For more top 10s about your favorite comedians, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.